When you're preparing and thinking about retiring, especially if it's a couple of years out, and you take a stock take, there's a number of things you really got to think about that goes into that stock take. One would be, you know, the obvious one is your superannuation, and, and, and you can find out by looking at your super statements, or going online, or talking to your provider about what kind of in income stream is that going to produce in a few years. Uh, you've also got to look at talking to them about is that best to take a lump sum or is it best to take a pension out of that superannuation scheme or maybe a combination of both, depends on what you want to do. The second thing is, is that most people or a lot of people have assets that would create an income stream also outside of their super. Now that could be savings accounts and term deposits, it could actually be other direct shares you hold or it could be a investment property. All of those things are important and need to be added up to be able to say, well, what is my income stream going to be going forward? One of the things that's a difficult one is your family home. And if you're still living in the family home, then that's exactly what it is. It's your home. It's not an, it's not an income stream. It's not an investment. Until you make a decision or until anyone makes a decision and saying, well, am I going to downsize or am I going to change that particular asset? then that comes into the mix. But any time you do those sort of things, you then got to think about and then what are the implications of that extra fund, those extra funds coming into my, my income stream. The flip side of that, once you've got that stock take done, and, and it's really good to detail it, and there's a lot of websites, pretty much every bank will have a, um, uh, like in their budgeting tools sections, areas where you can sit down and put your asset base. Uh, and that's a good place to start by then thinking then what, what income does that derive and some of them won't have any income. The flip side to it is then saying, and then what's my expenses? And that's, that's almost more important because you might have a, a, an income stream coming through, but the lifestyle you're leading at the moment is gonna, is gonna outweigh that income stream. So people then ask, how detailed do I have to get when I'm putting together a, uh, a budget for when I retire. And, and you can get into minutiae on that. Um, if people say, oh, groceries, everything, I said, I think that's really important. Now, you don't have to turn around and say, you know, what's, what's, your, what's your, your every week's shopping bill at your local supermarket? But it is around, what's the outgoings from your household, and there could still be kids in the house, or it could just be the two of you or yourself, um, on a weekly basis or a fortnightly basis or a monthly basis and your electricity and, and other power and your car and how many cars do you have and all those sort of things, they've got to come into it. Some of the, the, the old things probably aren't there anymore, you probably don't have school fees which is a great thing, but all these other things are going to keep coming through and they're not going to stop. The other thing that's going to go up is probably going to be health costs and so you've got to put factor that in. And the other thing is you're going to have time on your hands. So you're going to be doing things like you might be doing more travel, you might be doing study courses, you might be doing um, other things that you're passionate about. And you've got to put those in. If you don't put them in and then think about that when you leave, then that might be something that you're not going to be able to do. And that would be really disappointing. So it's, it's both sides of the ledger. You've got to think about the stock take of what the asset stream is going to be or the income stream and really get some detail about what your expenses are going to be. And it's not just for next year, it's for the next 5, 10, 15 years.